Hi everyone, and thank you for joining my show called Education with me. We're gonna talk about school. I'm gonna sneeze. What was your favorite school subject? It's always been art. Always. And I've also loved French in high school and theater. Mandy and I took a theater class together in high school and oh my gosh, it was really fun. It was just fun to be in the class with your sister. And Haley and I were in French together actually, so I like the classes where I took the uh, where I was with my sisters. It was fun. English class was always fun for me because I would just sit and read my books. My favorite subject was probably English though. I love reading and since we're singers, you know, I'm a singer, I love poetry. <laughs> and I write poetry all the time and so I always look forward to our poetry units in English. First thing that pops into my mind when I think about high school, I just, I didn't have a lot of friends. I had a few really good friends who I'm still friends with now. I wasn't really involved socially because of our music career. We just weren't around that much. I missed a lot of school. I did a couple semesters independently and then I graduated early because I just felt like I was ready to move on with my life. When I think about high school, the first thing that popped into my mind was probably my friends. <laughs> I think it's important to get involved and to find that great group of friends and you will enjoy school no matter where you are and no matter what class you're taking. I'm not necessarily going to remember everything that you studied and all of the content of the class, but you will remember uh, all the great people who had an influence on you, teachers and friends included. I treasure those memories, so I loved high school. <laughs> I had moments. There were moments where I really enjoyed high school, but a lot of the time I had a hard time. I just was kind of really shy in high school and we moved schools a lot and um, looking back that was something that I really appreciate and really am grateful for because I was able to learn how to put myself in myself. <laughs> what do I have like <laughs> three personalities? But I was able to put myself in new situations and learn how to navigate in new environments and that was a life skill that I still am thankful for and still use. I don't really remember much from it because there's not much to remember. I graduated last year with a degree in International Cultural Studies. My emphasis was in Communications and Anthropology. I had to really reach out of myself and push myself in that major and I loved it. I had always thought that I would major in English but once I got to school I changed my major a couple times until I found something that fit who I was and my goals and something that I really connected with. I'm actually kind of stuck right now in what I want to major in. I started majoring in psychology. I would really love to teach probably like elementary school, so I would probably look into elementary ed. My major is graphic design, but I love graphic design. I love the art classes. I love being able to be creative and um, going into something that I can hopefully use for the rest of my life and do anywhere I am. And so it's been really fun so far. I love it. I usually studied outside. I love going outside for some reason. Just put like a blanket on the grass with my computer and my papers out. Because it's just quiet and peaceful and you can just focus and get it done and take a nap later. <laughs> Not usually at home, inside. Because that just turns into me getting hungry and eating the whole time. I like to be in a place that's comfortable for me, so I always study in my bedroom. I do most of it just in my room at my desk or sometimes on my bed, which is not a smart idea because I catch myself waking up with my computer on my lap and it's like, I don't know, it's bad because I fall asleep sometimes when I do my homework on my bed. <laughs> what was the hardest part about high school for you guys? What about college? The hardest part about high school, probably waking up early for a church class. In our church, we have this thing called seminary. So usually at like 5.30 or 6, depending on where we lived, that was really hard to do as a high schooler because you just like need your sleep and you go through the school day and then you have extracurriculars or whatever and then you have homework and you stay up late and then you have to get up early. That was a really hard thing to do but I'm so grateful I did. And the hardest thing about college, college are my favorite years. Just because I feel like you have so much more independence and the people that you meet are amazing and they come from all over, it's just a melting pot. I absolutely love it. So I feel like that's just the academic part is way more vigorous in college and you have to learn how to balance everything. <laughs> the hardest part about high school was probably the social aspect of it for me. I was never, I never really fit in with any group. 
I think kids in high school can be really, really mean and really discouraging. And I definitely was not exempt from being made fun of about things that are so stupid. But I think that's why it's so important to just be nice. Be that nice person who everyone knows they can count on for a smile or a wave in the hallway. Or if they're sitting by themselves, you can go sit with them. You know, you gotta be that person who is approachable and just friends with everyone. The hardest part about college for me was sticking with it. <laughs> college is tough, it's overwhelming. Classes are demanding, but it felt so good to finish and it was worth it. All of it was worth it. The hardest thing in high school, we moved a lot. So it was hard to like keep up with friends and just balance everything. In college, the hardest thing was probably doing more school than social things. Because <laughs> college is really fun, but sometimes you, you gotta sit in the library. Give us some advice on how to study without stressing yourself out for exams. I'm learning how to do this. Just do the homework. <laughs> do all the reading, prepare for class, and then attend all the classes. And you already, by doing that, understand concepts that you, you won't have to study later. Um, I'm learning that spacing it out is a lot better, even though it's really hard for a procrastinator like me. I think I learned after a while that if I prepared to the best of my ability, then there was nothing else I could do, and it's just not worth being stressed out over. So get the help that you need if you need it. I went to tutoring a lot in college. The best thing that I found in high school, I had a chemistry teacher who told us to study for an extra hour every day after school, what we had just learned that day. That was the best advice I ever got, and I used that um, in college too. It just helps so that you don't have to cram for a test. Just do one day at a time, just for like an hour, and then you're good, and then review it before the test, and boom, A plus. How can you motivate yourself to do better in a subject that you hate? I'm not the right person to ask that question. If I don't care about it, it's really hard for me to even show up to class, like I have no motivation to be there. I think if you try to keep perspective and just acknowledge that this is all good, this is all helping me to become a better person and helping me eventually reach bigger goals then helps you to stay focused and motivated even if you're not interested in the subject. Make friends. <laughs> Make friends with students that are really good at it and have them teach you. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Try to find something that's interesting. Do all the assignments so at least you know something and um, pray before your test. <laughs> oh my goodness. Math, math, and Mandy. They never mix. I had to motivate myself to take a few math classes, especially in college. I just thought, you know what? Just gonna get them done, kill them, do great, never have to do it again. <laughs> that was motivation enough. <laughs> what should I look into when applying to college? If you have a dream college, apply for that one. You never know. For me, the most important thing was the environment. And so I wanted to go to a school that was pretty clean and just had a good Christian core and so that kind of helped my decision and it doesn't have to be a huge university it can be a community college if that's what you feel is right for you so I thought that I knew where I wanted to go and what I wanted to study but when the time came for me to actually fill out my applications I, I started opening up and looking into options that I hadn't really considered I ended up getting accepted into a few schools and I chose to go to college in Hawaii because I felt like it just felt right. I really prayed about it. I talked with my parents a lot. Find something that you're passionate about and go for it. I think be honest with yourself and really dig into what you're interested in and then find a school that caters best to that and maybe a place even that you love because that will help you to be there and to study and focus and enjoy being in school. Do you guys dress up for school or bum it? In high school, I literally every day wore a sweatshirt, jeans, and boots. I would wear a different shirt underneath my sweatshirts, but I only had like five sweatshirts, so people probably thought that I was wearing the same outfit every day. Nowadays though, I do dress up a little bit more now, I, but I do that every day whether I'm in school or not, and it's a huge contrast to, to high school where I literally just wore my PJs to school every day. I don't think I ever dressed up for school, ever. <laughs> I think I tried hard maybe my sophomore year of high school. Once I got to college, living in Hawaii, I'd swim in the ocean in the morning, go to class, go back, swim in the ocean. I don't think I ever dressed up. I always dressed up for school. I liked to dress up in high school. I thought it was fun. I had this like clothes journal of bless my heart and I would like make sure I wouldn't repeat 
outfits. How weird is that? And then college, it was like, where's my sweats? <laughs> it's too early for this class. <laughs> Have you ever done something bad to fit in? I can honestly say that I never did. That's probably why I did not have a huge amount of friends and I wasn't popular or whatever. I think I was really lucky to find friends who weren't afraid to not follow the crowd and not drink or smoke or go to parties or do anything that would compromise what we felt was right. So you don't have to, you don't have to to be happy and I promise you, you'll be so much happier if you just be around people who make you want to be better, not people who make you compromise your standards to fit in with them. I always kind of knew what I believed and, and stood for and I had decided that from when I was really young. So, you know, a lot of my friends did drugs or party and I just knew that that wasn't me and not my scene and that didn't mean I wasn't friends with them. I had some really great friends, but you know, I didn't have to hang out and do everything that they were doing. People will respect you if you're like, you know, that's just not me. That's okay, you can tell them that and people will stick up for you. <laughs> Choose your friends wisely and find people who will help you and support you and encourage you to be better. No, I think that is why, actually, in high school, I felt like I was really shy, closed off, and I only had a select few really good friends. I was really lucky growing up having my sisters as that close unit in my family, and so I never felt the need to try to fit in anywhere because I always felt like I fit in and was supported by my family and my sisters throughout high school. Why do you think education is important? I think education is important not only because it's good to get a good job or whatever, and it's pretty much essential in society these days, but I also think that, that you learn skills that aren't necessarily in the textbooks or in the material that you're studying or whatever. And you learn more about yourself. You learn things that you didn't know that you enjoyed or vice versa. You might think that you really want to be a doctor and then when you take chemistry, you're like, oh, just kidding, never mind, like me. And I think that's the ultimate purpose and the ultimate thing that comes out of an education. Getting a degree, I think, is a great endeavor and I'm working on it myself. I think it's just really great to have a knowledge of the world around you, to dig into things that you're interested in. If you study things that you're interested in and your whole life you just seek to learn new things, that you will become more well-rounded and be able to help others better. There's a quote by Gordon B. Hinckley. He says something like, education unlocks the door to opportunities to serve in the future. The more education you gain, the more knowledge that you gain, the better you are capable of helping other people. I'm so thankful for the chance that I had to even have that opportunity to learn further, to gain knowledge about things that I wouldn't learn about any other way. I feel like I'm more capable of contributing now that I've pushed through that and I got a degree. What are your tips and tricks for staying balanced while going to school. If you have any for me, leave them in the comments below because I need advice as well. I'm going through the same thing that you are. I'm, I'm right there with y'all. I'm trying. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna finish school. It's gonna be great. A plus. If you keep God involved, he'll help you out. We're all working together to be better at school, not procrastinate, eat healthy food, except for Chick-fil-A on occasion. Best of luck to all of you in school. Continue to work hard and work for your dreams and go to your dream schools. You have no limits. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And I'm right there with you, getting my degree and studying. And I love you all. Good, everybody. Oh, can I stop this? Rich or skunk spray, they're both gross. <laughs> Ew. Either way, this is coming out. Both Either way, it's coming out. <laughs> no, no, but that one, now it's just important. <laughs> <laughs>